springtime in Washington State. Stuck inside their den since birth, fox kids now have a chance to stretch their legs. After weeks underground, these kids are ready to explore the outside world. This year's two denning sites, the Slope Den and the Prairie Den, had a total of nine fox kids. Springtime in the area brings with it abundant sunshine, longer days, and a seemingly endless bloom in wildflowers. Warmer temperatures signal the arrival of the Savannah Sparrow, the European Rabbit, the curious but extremely skittish Black-tailed Deer, to the delight of Red Fox fans, this year's litter of Red Fox kits. The slope then featured two black vixens and six kits. Two of the kits were red and four were black. The red male kit is the largest of the six. Two of the four black kits were solid black in color, while the other two had white streaks on their faces. The two vixens cooperated to care for the kits. They took turns cleaning and feeding them. Establishing hierarchy among fox kits begins shortly after they leave the den. As they chase each other around, a pecking order begins to determine which kit is the dominant alpha and which kit is the omega or runt. Play fighting is extremely important in the development of red fox kits. These pint-sized brawlers use their paws teeth and weight to establish dominance. Just like the chasing games, these intense wrestling sessions help to reveal which fox kid is the alpha and which is the runt. Play fighting may also trigger their hunting capabilities. Mousing, pushing and shoving were often observed around the den. These behaviors may confirm how play fighting establishes and maintains a social hierarchy within fox families. Even with the endless brawling and takedowns, at the end of the day, it's all about family. Red foxes are wonderful parents. The two vixens of the slope den work together by caching food items all over the denning site. Doing so allowed them to feed the kids whenever and wherever they ventured. Their actions strongly reinforce the all-important social bonds. And the kids, for their part, seem to fully enjoy the attention. As the sun sets, the surrounding fields are bathed in soft evening light. Slowly increasing in confidence, they venture farther away from the den, climb on rocks, and taste leaves of low-lying trees. Until it's time for the kids to leave the den, 
they have the perfect opportunity to investigate their surroundings and get to know a place they'll fondly call home. Like the slope then, the Prairie Dome enjoys a commanding view of the Olympic Mountains. Two of its frequent visitors are the common raven and the European rabbit. Both species explore the dens when its occupants are distracted or far away. And like the slope then, the kids from the Prairie Dome have been underground since early March. This red fox male is probably also the father of the six kids from the slope bed, although we didn't see him at that location at all. And just like at the slope bed, both fixins cleaned and fed the kids. There were only three kids at the prairie den, a completely black one, a traditional red, and a copper cinnamon morph. The brown fox morph was bigger than the other two. Disturbance from above diverted the attention of the vixen, who was left behind to babysit the kids. And while she kept an eye on the hawk, a very cunning raven landed on the denning site. A member of the corvid family, the common raven is an intelligent and highly adaptable bird. This ability to assimilate well with the habitat they find allows them to coexist nicely with people. May that location be rural or urban. Our clever raven has managed to steal the food cached by the vixens. Beak brimming with dead mice and voles, the raven struts from one then entrance to the other. But once spotted, our raven friend was out of there. Red foxes come in many different color mutations. Although some color mutations occur naturally, the majority of them are man-made. This male kit is a copper cinnamon fox, under the category of brown mutations. Although it resembles a cinnamon fox, a copper cinnamon fox does not have the silver highlights you would normally see on a cinnamon fox. However, just like cinnamon foxes, their eyes can be green, orange, and yellow, and their noses are almost always brown. The vixen's return normally means more feeding and cleaning. And come cleaning time, the prairie den vixens always took their responsibilities seriously. Although the brown morph kit was much bigger than the red fox female, she manages to hold her own. As to run to the litter, the red fox female was smaller and weaker but lighter and faster. If she was losing the wrestling match, you wouldn't know it. The black kid really wanted to play, but the red fox dad wasn't in the mood. However, once he got going, it's game on. Lesson one, never run in a straight line. Zigzag as much as possible. Lesson two, roll with the punches. If an enemy is chasing you, your objective is to avoid being caught. And lesson three, if pinned on your back, remember to counter attack. It's much harder to eat something that's fighting for its life.
Vixens also stress the importance of play. Although they don't roughhouse as much as the fox dad, they chase the kids around to make sure their muscles are engaged. Both the fox dad and the vixens of the prairie den actively shared in caring for and rearing their youngest members. And like the slope then, at the end of the day, it's all about family. Both parents lavished attention on their three kids, and the three kids happily returned their affections. After all, it's a special time in their lives. Red foxes normally lead solitary lives, only getting together during the mating season. So during the few months they spend with their parents, the fox kids have an opportunity to learn how to evade, how to hunt, and most importantly, how to adapt to their new environment. They only have a short time with each other. Both parents take care of their offspring only until the next fall. A short time later, the young foxes set out on their own. But for now, the fox kids can enjoy the safety and security provided by their parents. And sometimes, fox dads sit on top of their kids because they love them.